My name's Sam Chisholm. I'm the CEO and co-owner of HM Air. My aviation journey started 18 years ago. Firstly, I grew up on a cattle station, so I always had a pretty strong interest in helicopters. We used to see a lot of helicopters on the station and um, I became a helicopter pilot when I left school at 18 and then have been in aviation ever since. My sister and I took over Helimaster NT in 2021. In those three years, we've grown the fixed wing side of the business pretty substantially and the turbine fleet as well. HM Air is broadly speaking a four sector company. So we've got a fixed wing division, a turbine helicopter division, a cattle mustering division and maintenance as well. So we're air work and charter. We do everything and anything from agricultural services to picking up passengers for patient travel. A lot of emergency services stuff up here, particularly over the wet season when everything becomes inaccessible, we're a go-to. HM Air has decided to commence with White Star on the cadet program so that we can ensure that we've got consistency of pilots coming through. There's a lot of movement in the aviation sector. It's really important for us to get people that know our business and know our standard operating procedures and fly the way that we do things. So we're really looking for consistency and we think that White Star is gonna be able to provide that. I'm Josh, uh, grew up in the UK, did my flight training in New Zealand and found myself in the top end. The thing I enjoy most about being in the top end is that no day is the same. Uh, all the strips bring different challenges and even the same strips on different days are completely different. So there's never a monotonous day, every day is different and keeps you on your toes, keeps you thinking. The White Star Cadet Program would be a great way to set people up um, compared to a typical straight out of flight school. There's only really one way you can learn how to fly up here and that's by doing it practically. So by getting some time up here and seeing what the strips are like and the practical ways people actually fly around here will be um, incredibly valuable when you start that first job, setting you up better than um, someone just fresh out of flight school. My name is Charlotte, I'm one of the line pilots I'm based down in Catherine for Helimaster, HM Air Services. I think the cadetship program will help pilots coming up here. It's not a cookie cutter program, it's really almost niching a little market there. And I think pilots straight out of flight school will gain so much from coming up here at the end of their training rather than finishing. And doing the standard wait six months looking for a job. It keeps that, I think flying is all about consistency and if you're involving the type of flying that you're gonna do every day today into your training, it can keep up that consistency and the consistency rolls over into the job. So I think it'll benefit student pilots when they move up here because they've already had that experience and consistently flown in these conditions. I am Jenea and I am the fixed wing manager at HM Air. We decided to enter a cadet program with White Star because we were looking for quality candidates coming through the industry and finding that there was a gap. Um, and obviously White Star were looking to connect students to employers within the industry. So we thought that it would be a really good partnership um, to have cadets come up to the top end and we could do their training and offer them a pathway for employment. Advice for pilots just starting off, I'd definitely say give the top end a shot. It's a great way to really test everything that you've learned so far. Definitely strip it back to the basics and just making sure everything's important. There's no room for um, second guesses, so it will definitely hone your skills and then give you an interesting experience where you won't forget it. And from there, everything will seem easy after flying up here. So 100% would recommend just giving it a good shot and then from there, um, the rest will just open up for you. <laughs>